Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to talk about one of my personal favorites on the team right now. A guy that I've seen, you know, make some throws in practice that really piqued my interest. And I've known a little bit about this, this young fellow because he started his career at the University of Florida. Um, whatever happened there happened and he finished at a different university, I think Cincinnati. And I would see different clips of him throwing the ball in practice and they looked different. And from that, you know, from those clips, I made the summation that he throws a better ball than the balls I'm seeing from Devin Leary. But I wasn't able to go to any of the, you know, practices this year because of the the giveaway snafu or whatever, whatever the crap that was that happened this year. And so just off the clips, I'm like, he may be a better thrower of the ball than the guy we drafted, Devin Leary. So I finally got the opportunity to see Emory Jones throw the ball this preseason game. And boy, boy, he did not disappoint me. So based off of Devin Leary's game one and Emory Jones's game two, and I like the fact that they let him go with the same guys or the same set of guys that Devin Leary went with in game one. Emory Jones may be, dare I say, quarterback three. Roll the intro. So before we get into it, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop throughout the 2024 preseason and the upcoming 2024 season that'll be starting here in about two weeks or so. So I appreciate you guys for being here. Go ahead and smash that like button and let's get started on this Devin Leary film. He was seven for nine with a touchdown pass to a uh, Dayton Wade. Let's dive into it and see what Devin, I'm sorry, I keep wanting to say Devin, what Emory Jones did to make me think he should be third string quarterback for the Baltimore Ravens. Now we have another week of camp to go and technically they broke camp. They got the joint practices this week and, and Devin Leary has the leg up because he was drafted, but the film don't lie. And we, you know that's the model around here, and we hadn't been saying it lately, but we're about to get back to it because we're getting a lot of film. Film, then more film because the film don't lie. And we're bringing you film here on Emory Jones. Here we go. That got creepers coming from everywhere. Get a little play action. Get a little boot action going. Got a guy wide open. Throwing on the run. Off-platform throw. And Emory's an athlete. Let flick of the wrist. Now, this is a miss. Can't miss your bunnies, though. This is his first throw. Remember, last week, he got in with eight seconds left, and they, they, they tried eight seconds left in the game, and they tried to give him a deep ball, and he had a sack, sack fumble, which was crazy. So, technically, this is his first throw of his professional career, and he misses it. Guy's wide open. He's behind him. Gotta have those. Gotta have those. And you can chalk this up to nerves or whatever, but shortly after this, he went on a nice little streak of throwing dots. I chalk this one up to nerves. Let's come with his next one. The quick action. Now, look at that. Got the nerves out. I love the fact. Catch. Turn and throw. A lot of guys in a quick game, and it depends on how you're a coach. They'll catch this ball, and they'll take a, like a one-two, and then fire. He catches it, sets his feet, gets his shoulder square, throws a missile. Throws a missile. Sets his feet. No drop back. I'm going to just set my feet, get my shoulders square to the target. Throws a missile. Now, this receiver is fairly covered, but his NFL open, and he throws a missile right to the tight end. Right on him. Right between the numbers. Heck of a throw. Right through the little window created by the uh, tackle and the guard. It's on time, right? And it's on time. In rhythm. 
in rhythm on time. Fade out. Basic concept. Ran at every level of football. Fade out. Let's, let's throw it in real time. Some people don't like when I keep start, starting and stopping. That's just the coach in me. He put that thing on him, boy. The, the, I think it's a tight end. No, that's, that's Ishmael. He didn't realize that thing was going to be on him like that. Let's go to the next one. That last one was versus man coverage. One high safety. Guys look like they're going to drop out. They don't. Got more man coverage. Cover one. Pats, he pats it a little bit. Waiting on Malik to break up at the, at the slot up there. Waiting on Malik Cunningham to break in the slot. And then when, when he does turn it loose, it comes out with velocity. It comes out with velocity. It looked different leaving his hands. Malik gets some separation. He gets it on him. And gives him an opportunity to get some yak. Now the concept at the top, I think this fade out. It's fade out, it's fade out again at the top. Versus man. And he actually could have went to either one of these guys. He could have went up top too. Because he got a step. But he chose the out route, and, you know, if Malik gets the most separation. it would be interesting to see how, what kind of accuracy this ball was if this guy doesn't fall. Like, like how, how much of a contested catch would this have been if the defender didn't fall? Because that first pass to the bottom was on time and in rhythm. This one's a little bit later. A little bit more to the inside. He doesn't leave Malik. Like, the, the throw to the bottom was a better throw. But you also, like, look what's going on back here. You got guys pushed back in his face. Got a little bit more pressure on him. He didn't have that at first. But ne nevertheless, it's a completion. With Yak. Got a first down. Keep the drive going. That was third and five. Got a completion for about 15 yards, I'd say. About a 15-yard completion on third down. Kept the sticks moving. This this right here is a negative completion, but the blame is on this guy. I think this is Malik. I think this is Malik Cunningham. Like that guy's right there in the face, in your face. You have to block him. He can't go through you and make this tackle. He just can't. It is is he can't. You gotta do whatever it takes to not allow him to do this. But as far as um Emory, just watch the footwork. Get out your hands. I love it. I'm 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 sure he he doesn't have the laces. This is catch. Get the shoulder square. Get the ball out as fast as you can. This is turning the double play. This is baseball stuff, right? This is baseball footwork. Catch. Turn your shoulders. Get it out. Don't have the laces. Don't care. Get the ball out as fast as you can, as accurate as you can. And that's what he does. Because you can't give this guy a chance to a chance to hit the ball. So it's catch. Get your shoulders square. Get the ball out as fast as you can. You can't help what happened with this right here. Your job is to get, get your shoulders square. Get the ball down there as fast as you can. It's good footwork by Emory. Is that 82? Or oh, 82 didn't block him. That wasn't Malik. That's 82. 82, you got to do better. Got to do better, kid. Two high shell. Looking like cover two. Yep, cover two. Route concept. What you got? Route concept wise. You got curls at the bottom. Hmm. On time. Just inaccurate though. Don't pat it so much. Pat. Well, it's just one pat. I thought he I thought he kept patting. My bad. Just one pat. Trying to hold the safety. He's looking down the middle, but there's no safety down the middle. So he's just trying to hold somebody. I understand what you're trying to do. You're trying to hold him. Trying to throw it on time. So he gets it out on time. It's just inaccurate. So he really should try to throw it out here. But he ends up throwing it in there. You want to throw it toward the outside because that's where uh, Wade is breaking. And you want to throw it away from the defender. 
I'm gonna throw it away from the defender. See how, he, how Wade has to kind of try to dive inside for it? He, he was breaking outside and away from him. You want to throw it low and away, away from the defender. So this is an inaccurate throw for him. It, it is on time, though. It is on time. I will say that. It is on time, and he didn't throw in that mess because there's two defenders there, too. So it's, it, it is a good read. This is probably the best read for in this situation because it's two people on his, this dude. Is it third down? It was the down. Look, it is third down, so the check down probably wouldn't help you out. You might have got it on the check down. He might have got some yak. But this is the best route, in my opinion. So it's a good decision. He just threw it was an inaccurate throw. So that was the end of that drive. They punted after this, I think. Or kicked a field goal. That was the end of that drive. This is his next drive right here. This is the, this is the beginning of his next drive. Or the first pass of the next drive. Got drive and drive concept. Malik's gonna come in motion, run the shallow. I, this guy's gonna come in motion, run the dig behind it, and you're just reading these linebackers. If you can hit the shallow coming through, you drop it off. If not, you're gonna throw the dig behind it. Let me see what kind, what they're doing at the bottom of it. Got the out right here, and you got the clear out over top. So it's gonna kind of look like a long flood. You got this coming. You got this dig coming over here. So basically you flood this concept at the bottom and he going to clear it out at the, uh, at the very bottom. He going to clear all this out. So you got all this room at the bottom to see what's going on. Why is he scrambling though? Let me see. You got pressure. Maybe he felt that backside. Yeah, he didn't have to scramble. They did. They did. From that right there. That's a hat right there. That's a free hat right there. So I see why he's getting out. That's the free hat. So I see if we can throw on a run. Dot. Dot. And good job now. This is a good job of throwing behind him, keeping him from running out of bounds. Maybe he threw it in front of him and he stepped out, but this is a good job of throwing behind him and keeping him in bounds. Dot. Remember his first throw, it was it was behind him and low. That's that's behind him and to the point where he can catch it and maybe maybe even get another yard or two. First down. Again, I chalked that first throw up to, to nerves. And every throw after that has been pretty much better except for that throw to Dayton Wade. Then right here, this is the touchdown. Stutter. Patience. Great patience. And then you don't miss your bunnies. Don't miss your bunnies. When you get bunnies, don't miss them. This could be the difference between making a team and not. Great route by Wade. Great route, route great protection by the O-line. What much he had to do was just don't miss the bunnies. And to me, this cat right here, he, he in his few little reps, again, seven for nine with that touchdown, he looked better than Devin Leary to me. Now, I think Devin Leary has the leg up because he was drafted, but the film don't lie, man. I, but I don't know what they did in practice. But when you look at when you compare the two games, he looked more efficient. He looked better. And that's my two cents. So my question to you guys in the comment section: Who you think should be the number three quarterback going into week three of the preseason? Devin Leary or Emory Jones? My bet is Emory Jones. But you guys drop in the comment section who you think should be the number three quarterback. I love to hear it. We can talk about it. And let's see, man. This is Coach Evans with another episode of Sip the Tally Films. Like. Comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace and love.